Hello, hello Capricorn. Welcome to your June reading. I want to wish you all a great month. And if this is your first time stopping by, and if you haven't subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button. It does help me a lot to continue making these videos for you guys. Thank you so much. I do highly appreciate your love and support. And let's get started with the first week of June. So you guys start with a temperance card. There's a need here to focus on something that is not right in your life, something that doesn't, that is not in balance it's not in it's not harmonious it's also very important to take care of your physical body make sure that you're making the right changes in your lifestyle exercise more try to eat healthy if you have been maybe abusing a bit with with sweets or alcohol or any anything that is excessive anything excessive can be can be a bad thing okay even if you drink too much coffee is bad if you eat too much sweets is bad so have a have a balance have a, be mindful of everything that you do be mindful of how you treat yourself how you treat your body or of your mental health it's very important in the first week and also compromising okay try to view both sides of uh, of a situation of a conversation um of different relationships so try to bring back all those pieces or um things that might not be all together or might not be right work on them what you're not happy with there's a relationship in your life this can be a relationship with a co-worker with uh, someone you love with uh, someone you're a partner you're in a relationship that it's not going the right way and in order for you to be able to communicate clearly with them you have to first be in peace and in harmony with yourself because you if you're not if you're not in, in, in peace with yourself, even if the other person tries to explain, even if you try to have a conversation with them, you're always going to be very skeptical, look, look at them in a very negative way or be very defensive or be very, um, you know, close your heart, have, have um, missing that sense of empathy there. And that's what we're talking about here. We're talking about empathy. We're talking about being able to compromise and see the other person's point of view and try to have this balance balance between the two of you. But before you do that, you need to work on yourself first. If you're not in a good space, if you if you're not peaceful, then you're going to argue. You're going to argue with people. You're not going to be able to find a compromise. And this energy is very strongly in the first week because in the second and third week, we're dealing here with, with two, two of swords and two of wands. This has to do with a relationship that is very important to you guys. Okay. It can be different things for different people, but I'm feeling that you have been very guarded. You're not really listening to what the other person is trying to explain. There might be other people that are trying to, that are kind of like infiltrating, kind of talking in your ear, making you feel like this person doesn't care for you or they're trying to hurt you in some way. And you're very defensive. You're very defensive. You, you don't really trust. There's definitely some miscommunication here with the two of swords because you're not able to see things clearly. You're not following your intuition you're not following um you're not listening clearly you're not looking at what they're doing you're just mostly going by what others are telling you and that and there's a lot of conflict within you for some i'm feeling that you will still it, it will still be difficult for you to make a decision or forgive or actually sit down and have a conversation for some I'm feeling even if you decide to forgive the other person, this is still going to affect how you feel about them. It's going to affect your trust. It's going to affect your self-esteem. It's going to make you doubt the relationship, doubt them, doubt yourself. You're going to doubt yourself thinking, how wasn't I able to see this before? How was I so naive or you will think, oh, how did this person do this to me? If they did this to me once, how can I trust them? They don't, they're not going to do it again. So there's this big question mark in your head that is not clear, that you don't really know what direction to take at this moment in time. That's what I'm feeling for you guys. And this is something that has, that really has affected you because you had big plans. You were very excited. You had, you had big dreams. 
in regards to this person and this relationship and you you hope that you would have achieved so many different things but now you're so disappointed that you're actually questioning is it worth planning for the future is there a future with this person am i gonna are we gonna still be together uh, can i trust them again so all these different questions with the two of wands that i'm that i'm feeling for you guys all this big question mark not knowing what's going to happen not really knowing if, if you should still invest in them if you should still plan and it also has affected as i said your your self esteem okay so that's that's kind of the most negative uh, a part here when you're doubting yourself and you're not really uh, you're not really sure how all of this happened behind your back without you realizing what was going on okay and i'm feeling so we have virgo card here indicating virgo is connected with your job with your day-to-day -day life it's also connected with your health so for those of you who have had any medical issues if you um, Capricorn, if you don't have any medical issues, if you feel healthy and you're fine, just disregard this message. But for those of you guys who have felt something was wrong and you might have tried to get a checkup or you might try to get different, um, I see you might have had two different diagnoses and you're so confused that you're not really clearly understanding what's really going on here what should i believe should i believe option a or should i believe option b so there is a need here to ask for help find a specialist find someone that truly knows what they're doing but starting small starting with simple things like maybe if you um if you, um if you need to lose a few pounds and feel more healthy or if you need to start exercise and start taking walks in nature so start start to make making healthy choices or better lifestyle choices is is always good no matter what you're you're going through at the moment in time because it's going to help you in the in the long run so start there start small start by you know adding more fruits and vegetables to your diet and you know try not to eat too late at night and stay away from lots of processed foods and uh and from there ask for help ask for uh different opinions so you're clear of what's really going on because i see you feeling very confused in the second and third week it's like you're hearing one thing you're doing um maybe a test someone uh, one doctor is selling you this and the other is telling you that and it's not really uh, you're not really clear what to do in this moment in time but in the last week with the full card i see that you guys will decide to make a decision okay and as you kind of rushing into things not really analyzing things too much you kind of you're going with your gut instinct you're running first you're running away you're you want to start a new chapter you're tired of all of this you you don't even want to try anymore and, and fix it or make it make it work and you just want to you just want to go for it. I'm feeling for some of you. You just want to go for it. Some of you might decide to leave this person, start, you know, start a life by yourself. Maybe if you live together, start mo move out and have your own space or, you know, or move in with a friend or do anything. Just disconnect from this person just like that. You're tired. You don't want to deal with it. You're done. You just want to go. For others, you might decide to open a new chapter. You finally want, might decide to completely forgive this person and give them a chance and, 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 you know, and go from what your intuition tells you, ignoring what others, what others tell you and just kind of going with that, with that flow with how you feel. Cause there's definitely a, a misunderstanding here. There's definitely, um, a lack of, of, understanding at some point of a, of, of a miscommunication of some sort okay um that that's what i see with the two of swords things are not really clearly so you can't just go by what others are saying you have to really take the time sit sit down let let process that information look what the other person is doing really analyze things clearly before you make any any rush decisions but you are feeling more optimistic you're feeling like there's something better in the future you're changing that energy from the third week and you just want to go for it you just want to 
start new, start fresh. Opportunities are are all around you. You want to go for them. You want to leave everything behind and 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 open your your eyes to a new beginning, to a new life. And the Virgo card. It's telling me that you need to apply some of those Virgo qualities in yourself during the month of June, Capricorn. And you guys are very similar. You have a lot of the same characteristic. You're very hardworking. You're very detail-oriented. You're very focused. But the difference between uh, Virgos and Capricorns, you have a more pessimistic outlook on life. So you you you're ruled by Saturn so you think everything oh it this is difficult you always have you in, in a way you kind of think about the worst case scenario first but Virgos are ruled by Mercury so they're very they're more analytical they just look at the facts they're very cold they they can take the emotion out of it and just and just think um, and analyze things very coldly and kind of like the, that the detective <laughs> of the Zodiac. That's what uh, Virgos represent. Sometimes I like to call them the detectives because they're able to take all the pieces and put them together and make and have like a clear vision, a clear idea of what they, what they, what they're looking at. That's what I see for you guys. So try to take the pessimism out of it. Try to take that, that emotional part out of it and look at, look at this situation in a more clear view, more clearly, more just going by by what you're seeing, what the other person is doing, analyzing things with a with a cold mind. Um, as I said, this can have to do with the situation at work for some of you guys. When someone might have promised you something, they're asking you to um might have you might have had high expectations and then things have turned around and they're completely different and now you're so disappointed you're looking oh i'm going to leave i'm just going to start something new i'm going to look for a new job or i'm going to move to a new department or do something else but this is not the right thing to do okay don't don't rush into anything take the time maybe that promise something that you were promised it's not going to happen in the month of june but it can happen later so just make sure that you are making the right decisions for yourself and you're not um you're you're not any losing you're not losing on any opportunities that's that's what i'm feeling for you guys okay and there is this need here to uh to serve others to have a purpose to do something that is important for yourself uh, that's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling that whatever you've been doing hasn't given you that fulfillment in for for the long run. It's not something that that you want to do for the next ten, fifteen years. Yeah, um, there, there's, it's missing that love. Okay, that love for 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 your job, for what you do, for your relationship is missing that that excitement energy that spark that ambition that desire to give it your all it's missing that and from the oracle of uh, angels are telling us uh, helpful people okay so it's very it's very important to focus on people that are helpful there are positive they are willing to um to help you get out of this <laughs> this particular situation so don't as i said take your time listen to others if someone is constantly pushing you in in the wrong direction or if if people are very highly strong about their opinions and they're forcing their opinions in you they're constantly telling you oh you should do this you should do that look what that person said to you look how they treated you then you can tell they're they're not a good positive energy good influence in your life but if there are others they're close to you that say hey just take your time this is a healing process you need to heal yourself first you know give it a chance or kind people they 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 also let you know hey we're here for you okay no matter what happens we're here for you we're here to support and love you keep that in mind that that's how you can tell that someone is a good influence in your life it's a helpful 
influence in your life or is a negative influence in your life okay my friend so helpful people will be will be a key um to assist you during during the month of june and from the oracle of love and it looks like we have the symbol of Adam and Eve here, <laughs> but the message is power. You instinctively know what is right for you, and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. This is very important uh, for people to know. I, I'm sure a lot of people at, at this point in time... Um, apply especially if you if you've been into a spiritual path it, this is probably something that you follow on a regular basis you probably think about oh if i'm not happy or this something doesn't feel right then then you know to make the right decisions for yourself you know to follow that that right path for yourself okay you know to say no that's one of the things that the spirituality helps you the most to take back your your power be in peace with yourself and if you're in peace with yourself then you don't want to don't you don't want to allow anyone from the outside to affect your well-being and to affect your um, your peace of mind to affect your aura to affect your energy so if this relation if you can truly forgive my friends and move on and start a new brand new beginning with this person beautiful i go for it but if you guys feel like you can't forgive you've you've that trust there is broken things are not really right if you feel that way then it's better it's better if you just completely close this chapter and move forward if the situation has become so toxic and, and 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 it's not really the right one for you okay okay my friends this is all the messages that i had for you guys thank you so much for watching i do appreciate uh your time thank you again and i see you next time bye bye <laughs>